the Pebble tracker device itself and a little sticky pad so if you wanted to actually just stick this to something you There you go. Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at another uh, tracking uh, device solution that's out there. Now, uh, if you've followed my show, you'll know I have some previous uh, uh, videos on the tracker device. I've actually done several tracker devices. Uh, I've done the wallet tracker and then just the tracker itself. Uh, I've also done Tile. I've supported Tile, which is another tracking device. Uh, so now we're actually going to take a look at Pebble B enter another uh, competitor into the category and uh, this is uh, Pebble Bee's solution to your personal lost and found and, uh, and you can see here we've got the actual device here this is uh, uh, also says remote camera shutter it takes selfies with your friends uh, up to two years battery life on this uh, device here and there are apps on both the iOS and Google Play Store this has eight plus features um, so pretty darn neat. We'll flip it over on the back here. It's versatile, water resistant, durable, and uh, put Pebble Bee on anything and always keep track of your belongings. And they've got some examples of like your phone, uh, your laptop, your bike, your camera, your briefcase, all that kind of stuff. They have buzz and flash internal LED to find your items. Easy to use range finder up to 150 feet. Set location based reminders so you get alerts only where it matters. Uh, limitless monitoring with alert functions and a virtual leash. Uh, and multi-function button to snap a picture to find your phone. So that's kind of cool. You can actually uh, uh, snap a picture to help find your phone. And we'll delve into that and see what all that has to offer. This is Bluetooth 4.0 compatible and works again with the iPhone 5, 5S, 5C, 6, 6 Plus, Galaxy S4, 5, uh, and I'm sure it would probably work with like the Note 4 and all those others. So uh, let's go ahead and plop this open and take a look at what we get. It looks like maybe we're going to use the unboxing knife now. Uh, I did get some actual, we call them honey jackets here, and we'll take a look at those as well. So you've got some options um, for colors. But it's always nice to have options, right? So there is a one pack of the Pebble Bee. And uh, I think that's everything that's in the box here. I was actually surprised not to see any instructions. So we'll pop it open here. Oh yeah, it didn't break. Just the plastic and popping it out. So there we go. So we actually have the Pebble Bee tracker device itself and a little sticky pad. So if you wanted to actually just stick this to something, you could. And then this little uh, device here uh, is to open the battery and just turn that. So that's what that is for. And then let's peel open the jackets and uh, see. I think there's a battery in the jacket pack. We'll do this kind of behind the scenes and dump them into the frame here. So there we've got our jackets, all sorts of different colors. If you want to camouflage this in, you can. If you want to put it on your key ring, you can. You can even have it in a jacket, and it would look pretty cool in your key ring. Uh, and not just a little device like so. These are tight little guys. Um, let's see if we can get this. There you go. So that's what it's going to look like uh, when you do have it in a jacket. And I probably put this on wrong now that I see it's got a little button thing up here. So. Uh, yeah, there's the actual button. So you just gotta line it up and then put it on, and uh, you can now have this running on your key ring, hanging from your bike handle, or you know if you want to keep it uh, secure somewhere, maybe you can put it in your spokes or something, uh, and people won't know what it is. So all right, there we go. That's kind of not lined up, but it's, it's closer. So. So anyway, let's go ahead and let's get this functioning. I'll download and install the app on my iPhone, and we're going to come back and take a look at how this feature, uh, how the features work, and uh, what all it has to offer. Get this paired up with the phone, and uh, let you know how, how hard that process is, and uh, go from there, guys. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back, and we have set up the Pebble Bee. Uh, this is the Honey. 
uh, Pet will be. There are the Hornet and the Dragon, uh, also coming out soon. But uh, we're focusing here on the Honey. Now, as you can see, we have. Uh, let's go ahead and just go back to the app here. Uh, I have loaded their app on my iPhone 6. Uh, I activated the Pebble Bee, which uh, once you turn this on, you just hold this up button down for five seconds. It comes on. Uh, it immediately saw it in the app. I had to say uh, there was a uh, Pebble Bee close by, so I claimed him because he was an unclaimed uh, bee. So I added him to my hive, basically. Uh, so I do have him active. Uh, if I click on the actual Pebble Bee himself, now you can see that it monitors his battery uh, and that he is uh, fully charged and uh, I have some options now so say I want to find, I put this on my key ring and say I want to find my keys I just hit this button and you can hear pretty loud actually uh, it does sound an alert and uh, this has got one of the better speakers on it of these kind of tracking devices that I've actually seen out there I could actually hear this uh, really really good so um, now it does have another feature and for this I'm gonna have to turn out some studio lighting we can actually use it to flash lighting so uh, if it's in a dark place uh, not only can you use the sound maybe both there we go so I'm flashing the light and the sound at the exact same time to try to help me find it in a dark location that is pretty cool uh, so, uh, what all can you do here? So let's pull up the alerts. Uh, so you can alert on the phone, uh, you can buzz on the device, and you can get a battery low warning. I have all those on. Uh, distance. So this goes to about 150 meters, uh, or 150 feet, uh, with the Bluetooth 4.0. Um, so you can actually have it page you when the bee is actually gone dark or, or you can't even communicate with it basically it says it's left the hive the bee is getting lost which means the signal to this and the phone are getting very very uh, distant and it's going to alert you that it's about ready to drop off the radar uh, and then you can actually uh, get alerted when it's completely out of reach and a new alert when it actually is returned to the hive now you actually have multi-function buttons so find phone uh, that would uh, be pushing this button on the actual bee itself or on the honey itself and um, that would add uh, a little bit of uh, cool features here to find your phone now you can actually also flip that multi-function button on here to take a picture so let's just turn this off let's say find phone and we'll hit save now I'm gonna push this little button and we're gonna see what happens on the phone There you go. But will be wants to find your phone. So that sounded an alert on the phone. So that's pretty cool. So if I actually had this on my key ring and I can't find my phone, I just push this and my phone now will be sounding an alarm. Uh, you can actually also use this. Let's flip this around and we're going to say to take a picture. So this now acts as like a little uh, shutter remote and I can actually take pictures with this. So if you uh, are out with your friends and you want to do some selfies or if you just want to maybe see where your phone is at and it would be really cool if this would actually take a picture and upload it to the cloud that you could access on a, another device and maybe give you a little ideas. But I'm just going to click this button on my Pebble B here. Maybe. There we go. Try to do this with one hand. All right, let's put the phone down. Now we click it. And now, as you can see, it has activated the camera. And all I got to do is push this button again on the Pebble B, and it will take a picture. If I can do this with one hand, there we go. And now it did flash the phone. So if I was actually using this, if I left this in this mode, and I was trying to find my phone, it might send, if this was in the clear, I'd see the flash on the phone because uh, it actually did take a picture and the flash did fire uh, and that was all done remotely from the Pebble B so that is pretty darn cool. Uh, some other features of the Pebble B here is, so let's just go ahead and say we're done taking a picture. Uh, you can actually say where was the last place uh, in a GPS map that these two were seeing each other so it's constantly when it's seeing it uh, knows where out on a map they were last seen together so if you do get out of a really far distance you can actually um, 
to see on a map where they were last known to be. Now, uh, you can see this is all green, this pebble B here, but as I get further away from this device, this green will go down. So it'll actually tell me my signal strength, and see that since they're right next to each other, I've got full green uh, B here, uh, so that means the signal strength is at its maximum, and it has no problems communicating with it. So, uh, pretty darn cool. Now, I can share this. Say I hide the keys to the house, and I have a pebble bee on it. I can share it with someone if I push this button, and it's going to tell them the location of the pebble bee and the keys so they can activate it and find the keys they've hidden somewhere in the yard. So it's kind of like a geocaching kind of thing, only a little bit different. Uh, so once you get in range, you can actually claim this bee, find the keys, boom, you're good to go. I can also declare that the device is lost, which would actually go out to a community uh, of bee owners, and uh, they would be notified of a lost item and a bee in range, and they could report back and let you know where they last saw your lost item. Uh, pretty cool uh, features there. And again, you've got uh, a lock, and then also you can release the bee uh, into the wild, and uh, we won't do that, but uh, basically that would make it an unclaimed bee again that uh, someone else could uh, latch onto with the app and utilize. So, really cool features. This also has a little battery monitor on it that you can actually see your battery's uh, strength. Uh, you can actually uh, sign out, which we won't do. And then there's some settings here where you can actually put in your address and stuff like that. Uh, so, really neat stuff with the app. And uh, again, you can have it alert you when you're getting out of range and that kind of stuff. So you're not going to leave your phone in your car or uh, do something like that. You can actually, you know, you can put this on just about anything. Uh, your dog, your, your kids, uh, your keys, you know, anything you want to put this on, your bike, uh, to try to track it. Now, uh, again, we, we saw where we had some of these little honey jackets, is what they're called. So you can actually put these in here. Now, uh, if you want, you know, you can go with different colors. Now, this one's a little bit unique is that it actually glows in the dark. So it's another uh, option to try to find your honeybee. And I'll just turn out the studio light here real quick, and you can see it is glowing in the dark. Now, you know, it's not the brightest of... Uh, uh, things here, but uh, if it holds a, a charge long enough, uh, it would help you try to find your uh, your honeybee here as well uh, in the house if it's dark. And, you know, you'll be able to activate the little flash in this, but uh, definitely cool. Uh, this is, like I said, probably one of the better ones when it comes to features. I really like the remote find button on the device where you can actually page your phone, take a picture. Uh, Again, uh, a feature I wish they'd add is just automatically send that picture that it's done with the bee to a cloud uh, that you can access and uh, um, maybe see where your phone's exactly at. If it's uh, you know got a view, it'll tell you exactly where it's at. But uh, right now it's kind of just a remote shutter management, and you can take some selfies with it and kind of take group pictures out of you know with like a little remote shutter. So kind of neat. Um, Overall, this is uh, probably the tracker that I would uh, go with right now just for the features that it has. It uh, seems to have a few more features. Now, if you upgrade, now that, if you want to pre-order, the Dragon and the Hornet, okay? They have some really, really cool new stuff that they're bringing to the game with this, including temperature control or monitoring. You can actually see the temperature, uh, actually distance. Uh, it's got kind of like, a, I don't want to say an accelerometer in it, but... Uh, you can actually measure motion and all sorts of stuff uh, just to see what kind of conditions your bee is in. So uh, those are some features coming with the uh, Dragon and the Hornet. And uh, I'll have a link to their website in the show notes so you can really check this out and see what they have coming down the pike. Uh, they've got a lot of cool stuff with their new uh, devices. These just keep getting more and more sophisticated and more and more features packed into this little tiny guy right here. Uh, so. Anyway, guys, this is the Pebble Bee Honey. Uh, again, check the show notes for a link, and uh, you will see where uh, you can pick one of these up and maybe read a little more information on it if you want to see it. Uh, if I didn't cover something in full enough for you, uh, I tried to get a good enough demo so you get the gist of what it does, and uh, it does quite a lot. Um, and the battery life is supposed to be, it says, almost two years. So once you pair this baby and 
uh, get it going with your phone, you know, you don't have to. And I actually got a spare battery with the uh, honey jackets here, so that was kind of cool. So I should be set for battery life for a while. Anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscription to the channel, and feel free to like and share the video. Uh, and always, guys, thanks for watching, and have a good one. Thank you.